especially if they, um, sometimes the person will kind of sit up too much or push too much on the head, like this. Um, and so we trap the, the legs, but so push really hard on the head. Sometimes you can like actually start to connect to the, to the body here like this. So overcommit, okay. Yeah. And he starts to like overcommit with the push. Okay, so he's almost turning his, uh, himself too far. Okay, so we can go for a body lock. When I get the body lock, this right hand has to be deep and the left arm is blocking that inside leg just like before. So trying to stop that same hip escape. If I go body lock up here, Mikhail hips out. No, 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 other way, other way. He's doing the wrong hip escape again. Okay, go back. When I go body lock, Mikhail brings his right leg forward and he hips out to his right. Yeah, now he's, uh, maybe just to go. Just to guard? Yeah. So. Body lock. And the other one. Yeah. Okay. So I put this foot out. I can get my guard back. Right. Back. So. What I want to do is, when I get my body lock, I want my left elbow blocking that leg from coming up. So when he tries to do that hip escape, he can't bring that leg forward. Okay. Now from here, when we get the body lock, it is a little bit more advantageous to start to come out around to the to the side. Okay, so once I get this body lock here, uh, Mikhail's pushing, I'm okay to start coming around towards the back here like this, because I can pull his hips in nice and close to me. And what you'll see, I'm letting my head turn away, eventually, using my shoulder a bit as well, but I'm gonna start to make it very difficult for Mikhail to push my head so we move around towards the back now as I go for that so as I feel like I'm getting around far enough once you can reach the lat I'm oh sorry the trap up through here you know you've got a really good chance of taking the back keep on the hip grab the trap and then I'm just gonna remove my head with a little bump of the shoulder like that okay. now we take the seat belt and we're going for the back Starting here, the car is pushing really well, but I managed to come in and get a body lock, okay? Body lock, elbow tight. I'm gonna step outside the legs, start to come around. Go around enough that you can reach to the trap, bump with your shoulder, and we take the back from there. Do you want the car? Yeah, like this. Oh, it's a good body lock. Uh, go back. Then with his body lock, he's blocking my leg, coming out to do that hip escape. Good. He steps behind, grabs the trap, and then he bumps to. Uh, go back. Shoulder. Yeah, use your shoulder to. Yes. There we go. And goes to the. Have a go at that as well, guys. But it's good to be pushing your head away. Hey? Uh, yeah, I tend to go for it a lot from, from there. I mean, any type, the body lock isn't, it's a variant that you can use as well. So if you see a chance to get it, that's fine too. All right, let's have a go. Uh, we'll go pretty quick with this. Three minutes each, then we'll do some training. Three, two, one. So we're gonna do some specific training from here. One thing you might encounter is a lot of people will push your head to the other side. So sometimes people, if Mikhail reaches this right hand under and pushes my head, to the other side. Like, I can't really pass if my head gets forced yet. Let me show you that. The car's in position. Like this. Sometimes, uh, as the person defending, you'll reach under the, the head like this and force it this way. Okay? So, uh, that's when we're going to switch sides as well, similar to the four. So, anytime. If I'm here and Mikhail is forcing my head across, then I'm going to turn his legs this way. Okay? Now my head's again on the, on the correct side. He takes it the other side, and I'm going to force it to the other side, okay? Or if he sweeps, or submits. Uh, when you upgrade to the body lock from yep. the smash, do yep. you... I still lock the is leg. The, is the reverse sprawl here a pretty good option for me, or would you just not think it's a good idea? Here? Doing what you're doing here? Well, there, well yeah, because like your head's kind of stuck in this position, right? Um, I mean, my guard's pretty inactive. It's well. okay, but I feel like... Uh, I, I do do something similar to this, but I, I think because you're tilting back, I can, I can lift my head up. Yeah. And I can start to really pressure, pressure, and break through this. 
you do for me. I, I get up. <laughs> so, if your shoulder was that high, I wouldn't. Yeah, if you were down low at the knees to start with, yeah. Then we can come right yeah, forward. Yeah, yeah. 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 Posting on this hand, far forward to that. Now I've got options. Just have to relieve over. Here, I just want to stop Mikhail from being able to retract. So I'm actually like, my hands are holding in place. Try, try and get out, Mikhail. Okay. Yeah. So he's pretty stuck here. I mean, if he does that, I'll just go from yeah. the back. Yeah, yeah. But it's hard for him to move. And because I'm so far turned, I can still start looking to do this. Now that I've got that, that's stay down. Yeah. I want to keep that and start the climb. Yeah, it's just like if he's got like, you know, really straight. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. easy to push. I think you were really yeah. square. If I'm on staying square on, he yeah. will free himself. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I have to go in. Push really hard, both hands. Like I'm gonna be doing this. Okay. Shoulder in, forcing the knee to bend. 